Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we are going to talk about how ChatGPT can be used to write manual test scenarios. We have been talking about writing automated test cases and test scenarios like page object model, generating code using Selenium or Playwright using ChatGPT. But today we are going to take a bit of divergence where we are going to ask ChatGPT to write manual test scenarios. I know you, what you may be thinking, like this is the only place where people use their cognitive intelligence to think about various different scenarios to write the manual test scenarios. Well, I'm not really going to violate that particular theory or principle, but all I'm trying to do in this particular video is I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write a manual test BDD scenarios, which is given by a business analyst, like all the requirement. We are just going to let ChatGPT to write it. We will see how ChatGPT could able to understand and write that. And based on that, we could able to extend our actual scenarios by reducing the number of babysitting typing work that we used to do all the time with manual testing. We could actually reduce that work as well using ChatGPT. That is the whole idea of this particular video. I'm not really going to take ChatGPT over the manual testing work as well. That is not the whole idea, but this work is very specific to write PDD scenarios. All right, let's get started. So the scenario is going to be looking something like this. I'm going to take a complex banking transaction scenario where I'm going to tell that we are going to let people to open an account and that people should be above 18 and they should be able to do like a bank account opening from like a machine, like a browser, like an online browser. It could be multiple different browser combinations and operating system combination, or the people can go to a kiosk and open the account over there as well. But again, that is with some more conditions, like it should be only in a specific metro where the kiosk is available, not every rural area is also this uh, kiosk available. So that is another condition that we have. And also, uh, while we open an account, the person should have like a combinations of identities, something like passport or driving license or even Aadhaar card, something like that. So they should have all these detail or they can directly go to bank uh, or branch and then open the account. And again, there are some conditions and criteria for that. And finally, they can also open account from like a mobile application where it could be an Android or iOS. And there are again some more conditions there. Like every time you uh, try to open account, there's going to be a splash screen, which is going to show you before you start creating an account, something like that. So that is like a very, very hypothetical conditions, pretty much close to an actual scenario to open account. But these are the things that we need to consider while trying to open an account. So that is the whole idea of this particular video. So the scenario in a text is going to look something like this. As as you can see, uh, the whole thing that we, I just mentioned on the diagrammatic view, this is the business requirement. Let's assume that this is the business requirement uh, of this particular feature, like opening an account. So like just to open an account, we have to consider all these different combinations and scenarios because it is not a, like a simple application, it's a banking application and it requires a lot of different combinations of test cases that we need to write. So I have just written a very, very super simple test case here uh, so that we could able to ask ChatGPT to write this scenario for us. So in order to do that, I'm gonna jump into ChatGPT and let's see if ChatGPT can write this particular scenario for us or not. So as you can see that I'm in my chat GPT over here. And before that, today Bard has launched their own experimental uh, open AI competitor over here. You know what? I'm actually going to ask Bard first that they could able to write the scenario for us. All I have written is this, write BDD scenario to open a bank account in ICICI bank with following criteria, with all these criteria that I have mentioned, like a scenarios, I have given it over here. And note that for every scenario, I have also mentioned that while you try to open uh, in the kiosk, this feature is currently available in select metro cities, hence it is not applicable for all the user. And if the opening of account fails, it gives a prompt with continuation number to open the account from the branch Telephone banking should also support opening account with a continuation number. Online banking does not support the continuation number, whereas hypothetically, uh, iOS supports mobile banking with continuation, uh, which is also coming next month. So all these things I have just given pretty much like a different combination so that I am going to let the AI machines to think and give me all those scenarios. So I've just written all these scenarios over here. So I'm also given that also please include a user journey in all these scenarios, pretty much like how a user does in real time. And also break down each and every scenario, just don't write anything in high level. 
pretty much like how it's we tell to people and also i'm telling that include all the positive and negative scenarios and use tables if required for data to be supplied in this particular bdd scenario so now i'm going to hit enter so i'm going to let the bard to write this code and i'm sure that i've tried this even before bard has got a quite a bad way of giving me any result you can see that it has given me like user journey and also positive scenario, negative scenario, data, and notes. It is much lesser than what I have even typed. So I'm gonna just let Bard to do their homework to come up with some good idea. So I'm just gonna close that. And I'm gonna go with the default chat GPT uh, option. I'm gonna hit that and I will see how the scenario is gonna be written. And you will see that even the free version of chat GPT can write much better scenarios over here. You will notice that it is trying to write a lot more scenarios. Let me hit continue. Um, and you will notice that there are so many different options it is trying to write like uh, features open ICC bank account and it says scenario user opens an ICC bank account given the user is under 18 and when the user applies for an open account that then the system should verify the user's identity and the user must have at least one of the following document combination you see that it has also created a table for us like Aadhaar card passport driving license and then uh, document 2 is ration card or passport, ration card or other card, ration card or uh, other card, something like that. So this is what I have actually given in the scenario as well. So it has did all those combinations for us over here. That Because I have given that if the user does not have other card, then he should have combination of passport and ration card. And the similar thing goes, uh, if he don't have any of this, what you should be doing. So everything it has written over here which is amazing like it has written so many things over here it also tells me that there is a table written unsupported versions of the uh, like the mobile operating systems as well uh, and it has given me those details which is awesome so this is the free version you can try out if you don't really have the plus version but now what i'm gonna do is i'm excited to show you how we could do that with the gpt4 same scenarios that i have just typed in bard as well as the free version of chat gpt and I'm gonna let ChatGPT to write that for me. I actually tried this before and I was just mind blown to see uh, how the scenarios were being written. And do you note know that it is trying to write pretty much like the Gherkin format, where it is telling me the feature open a bank account in ICICI. It is also telling me a background scenario where it says that given a user is on the account opening page, because you're gonna be reusing that particular opening account each and every time. So it is writing the uh, that in the background. And then it's writing user age verification scenario where it tells that when the user enters their date of birth, then the system should verify if the user is above 18 years old. If not, then the system should display the message, you must be above 18 years to open an account. Awesome, right? Like it is giving me such a good information, like a pretty much like a journey to be honest. And then it is saying user identity verification, where it says given the user does not have an Aadhaar card, when the user enters their document type, you say that it says this document type from the table there, amazing. And then document type two, so all the combinations is also being supported there. You'll also notice that it says user identity verification without a valid document. So it is also writing that for me. And this is the negative scenario. And there is also like a scenario where it says the online account opening via computer because we have told like we need to open via computer and it says it do all it does all the combination like browser operating system and result as well so it says chrome windows 10 allowed firefox windows 5 allow <laughs> which is great and opera windows 10 disallowed because opera browser is not supported edge is not supported and brave is not supported but that is what i have mentioned over here like all the browsers are not supported so it is trying to write that for me as well and then it is saying opening accounts in the kiosk like the uh, positive scenario and opening the account by telephone banking and opening the account via online bank with the continuation number you remember i was just telling about the continuation number thingy it is also mentioning that over here so it's trying to do it via the online banking so that is also being covered here and about the ios and accepting the terms and conditions and opening the account via mobile i think it just stopped so maybe i can just say continue and it should start doing for the mobile application scenarios as well. Do you see that it is again starting the whole process for me over here? And I also told that uh, for the iOS uh, application, uh, you will have a splash screen, like in Spirit, the splash screen is not visible in the iOS app, whereas there is a splash screen in the Android operating system. So that is also being covered over here. So you see that be ignored, not be visible. 
awesome i mean this is amazing like this uh, if you just give like this particular scenario over here probably if you wanted to document all these scenarios in a bdd format or you wanted to share uh, this uh, scenario to your developers in a workflow manner you could just do literally quite a minimal work there and then you can convert all these manual scenarios into an automated scenarios over here you know what i've also tried this we can also ask the uh, chat gpt to perform even more or like write even more positive or negative scenarios so for doing that i'm gonna say can you please extend with even more negative scenarios for um uh, let's say for all the above scenarios i'm just gonna save my time even more here and this time you can see that it says very happily absolutely i can extend the scenarios uh, with more negative scenarios and now you see that it is adding that aid verification with invalid date format and then it is trying to write those scenarios for us and identity verification with the missing documents so all these things i know that this is not really going to replace human in any mean it is pretty much like how you tried writing the automated test uh, using chat gpt this is pretty much exactly the same thing by using the business uh, workflow and replacing that uh, with uh, the uh, the chat gpt to ask chat gpt to write those scenarios for us so it is pretty much exactly the same idea there but you will notice that it is going to be coming very handy for you to uh, to understand how you could able to leverage the power of these kind of uh, automated systems like AI system to extend your testing capabilities like manual testing capability even further and not only that I've also seen many different companies are really working behind the scene to reduce the number of manual work that we are currently doing there is also a company called bagasura uh, who are uh, the famous company in bangalore who have actually built a bug tracking system pretty much like jira where uh, they have added the ai capability to create bugs pretty much like how you could able to uh, do like a manual person whereas the bagasura for the ai the option is uh, like you can it not only gives you an hints to create the description of the particular bug it also helps you to identify the duplicate bug or similar bugs something like that and they're also building even more awesome cool thing there so that is the whole idea right like that manual process of uh, reporting a bug is now being automated using the AI and that's exactly the same thing even for the manual testing with the manual operation that we are doing over here with all these business analysis uh, that is being done by the BA can now be substituted with an even more workflow kind of scenarios like manual testing scenarios something like this if it is given to tester or developer it actually opens even more wide conversation to test the application even further with much much easier fashion just let me know what you think about these features just coming to chat gpt i know it's scary but it actually helps us in other good way as well please let me know we'll talk about other topics in our next video until then catch you in the next one